Hi everyone, it's Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com. I'm going to take a moment to do a sample reading for us all. I'm going to tune into the energy um, that's happening right now surrounding us and also any kind of guidance that we may need for the coming week. I have already um, set my intentions and said some prayers and asked that this reading be helpful for those of you that are watching. So I'm going to be using the Ghetto Tarot. It's from Haiti. If you haven't checked this out, you may want to. It's very interesting and uh, it's a very beautiful deck. So I am going to take a moment and start shuffling through the cards. And I'm just going to pull two or three cards that are going to help us with any kind of experiences or energies that we are experiencing right now and help us with any kind of guidance that may be needed for the coming week. So two cards have already popped out. Okay, all three cards popped out for us all at once. So I am going to take them one at a time. And first of all, I've got the Two of Brooms. And this man, he is looking off into the future and he's holding the world in his hands. Now he only has two brooms, so he doesn't have a ton of resources, but in his hands he has the world. So he's dreaming of how he can use what he has, how he can manifest his intentions, how he can move forward from his current circumstances into the circumstances that he desires. And there's also a sense here of, you know, start where you are with what you have. Do what you can right now, right? So that's our first card. The second card is Judgment. All right, this is a really beautiful card. And judgment is all about, judgment is about a kind of rebirth, but it's sort of the step that is needed to be taken before the rebirth. Judgment is um, when you need to recognize aspects of yourself. You need to come to terms with aspects of yourself. And sometimes this is duality. Sometimes it's like, accept those parts of yourself that maybe you don't love as much as the other parts. Accept those shadowy parts. Um, it's also an indication that it's time to objectively Look at yourself, look at your actions, your behaviors, look at um, the patterns in of your thoughts, the patterns of your life, and determine what it is that you are and are not doing to manifest what you desire, to manifest the results that you want, and to manifest the kind of life that you want. And often um, it just takes acknowledgement of your shortcomings and acceptance of those parts of yourself that are not perfect in order to create the right circumstances to move forward into better conditions. Okay, and then we have the Page of Cups. I like this card. So here is the Page of Cups. This man, he only has one cup, but that cup is full. And it's not full of water, it's actually full of, it has a fish in it. It's full of the, the things that live inside water. So this is a, this is a sign of recognizing a gift. Recognizing a gift within yourself. Recognizing something that you have at your fingertips that is going to help you, that is going to guide you. Um, recognizing what, what it is that you can be thankful for that you can be grateful for. Um, fish also represent fertility. This represents the water, so this also represents uh, creativity. It represents spiritual connection. It represents um, the dream life, the subconscious life. So pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your intuitions. Pay attention to what you're creating, what you're using your creative power for, because it's very likely that right about now there will be some signs for you there, and there somewhere in that skill set of creativity, intuition, intuition um, the dream world, spiritual guidance, there are going to be some things that are going to help you through the coming time. So get in tune with those energies and pay attention there. So I'm going to put all of these three cards together for us and do a little summary. 
Okay, so first of all, we see ourselves looking to the future. We see ourselves looking to looking to a place that we want to go, looking at a place that we want to go in our lives. And we only have we have a limited amount of resources, but the calling is be grateful for those resources that you have. Um, be creative with them. Be useful with them. Persevere. Use what you have now and start where you are now. Um, because even if you don't have a lot of resources around you, you have a lot of resources within you. So this is also a calling to draw upon the wealth of knowledge, draw upon the, the wealth of experience that you have. So we're looking to the future, looking towards what we want to manifest or where we want to go. And we are going to use the resources that we have within ourselves, the wealth and the riches that we have within ourselves, even if the resources that we have around ourselves are not super abundant. And then we also need to stop and we need to look at um, our thoughts and our actions and look at ourselves objectively, look at ourselves honestly. Take some time to assess yourself, to assess um, what you're doing in your life and where you can be better, where your weaknesses are, where your strengths are, and how you can improve. So you're taking those, those that wealth of resources from within yourself, you're reassessing your life, you're thinking about um, where you can improve yourself so that you're actions and your thoughts are lining up to the intentions that you want to manifest. They're lining up to that end result that you want to get to. And then in the end, we see ourselves discovering this wonderful gift that we have, this wonderful gift of creativity, of fertility, of abundance, of spiritual connection, this rich kind of um, watery, underworld subconscious kind of energy surrounding us and realizing something about ourselves there realizing that what we need what we've been seeking is really right there in that kind of swirling around subconscious energy inside of ourselves so I hope that this reading was helpful for you. I hope it is helpful in the coming week ahead. I hope you can refer back to it if you get into a situation where you need a little bit of guidance and this will apply. This is a sample of the kind of readings that I do. And every month I offer a monthly membership subscription package. And with that package, I do a video reading pertaining to the energy of that month. This reading is very much um, indicative of the, the readings that I do there. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Um, please like and share the video. Share it with any friends that you have that may like it. And I look forward to doing another video in the future. Have a good day.